Hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. Last time we got here to Heart Home City, and in this part, you know what we're going to explore Heart Home City. But first, you are ready for some fun? I sure am. Aren't you having fun? Let's make it fun, okay? Once in a while, you'll come across a trainer that exists inside the Pokemon Center. I think I will... No, not yet. It makes me all lonely, I say. Not yet. You'll still be there, right? Oh, it's night time. Because it's 7 o'clock. Yes, you'll still be there. Now, oh, little baby, cute. Before talking to that fisherman, I want to establish something important. Someone that I want to go to. Pokemon Fan Club. That's not where I want to go. There's a gym there. Is this where I want to go? Next to the Pokemon Center? Yes, it is! Is it anything on the television? Anything on the telly? On the spot weather, Ac Acuity is taking over covering a blizzard. Okay, that's it. But you, you are number one priority. Hiya! Oh, you're a trainer. That means you're using Pokemon boxes. I love meeting end users. Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not using the Pokemon boxes. Oh, what's up? Why is that a stylish look? Oh, right, sorry. There I go running on my mouth again. My name's Bebe. You know the PC Pokemon boxes? I'm the system administrator. I know this is out of the blue, but do you want a Pokemon named Eevee? Yes. Here you go. That Eevee, I got it from a good friend in Jotu who has a lot, whole lot of them. Bill. Bill from Pokemon Crystal. He knows how many Eevees he's raised over the years. Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to you. Please be good to it. Yes. Is it female? No, it's male. Well... I made a promise in the previous part that I would actually aim to make this EV female. But if you want to know what name I would have given it as a male, Darwin. You'll understand as I go over why I'm choosing the name Darwin as I go over the bios right about now. And there you go. I'll go ahead and accept Darwin right here, but I'm just gonna have to turn you down. I'm gonna end up resetting. And I'm going to wait, and I feel kind of weird doing this because the female name that I came up with, I don't think is really creative at all. Probably an overused name, but... And I'm sorry that I have to turn down <laughs> a name that I feel is really clever considering um, Eevee. Oh, and because of his ability, I don't care if it has Runaway or Adaptability because it's going to change once I evolve it. And yes, I am going to evolve this Eevee. So, just have patience with me as I, well, continuously reset until I get a female Eevee. Eevee is downright the most interesting Pokemon in my opinion. And surely a lot of people would agree because Eevee is very iconic in the fandom. Eevee is interesting because it was the very first Pokemon to get a split evolution all the way back in its introduction in Gen 1. Unlike the split evolutions that follow it, such as um, Wurmple evolving into 
um, Beautify or Dust Ox, or Burmine, which evolves into Wormadam or Motham, Eevee, right off the bat, actually evolves into three different Pokemon. If you are not planning on evolving Eevee, well, I should tell you, it has pretty bad stats, but adaptability makes it somewhat useful. It's only weak to fighting and immune to ghosts, and if you are planning to evolve Eevee, I highly recommend that you wait until it is at least level 36 where it learns Baton Pass. Two other moves that I recommend you teach Eevee is Quick Attack, which it learns at level 22, and Bite, which it learns at level 29. If you use the Water Stone, Eevee will evolve into the Water-type Vaporeon. Vaporeon is great and debatably the best of the evolutions. It specializes in HP and has really good special attacks. If you are planning to evolve Eevee into Vaporeon, I wouldn't worry so much about Quick Attack, Bite, or Baton Pass. Instead, teach Vaporeon Aqua Ring at level 43, Acid Armor at level 64, and Hydro Pump at level 71. It takes a very long time to get it its best moves, but I'll tell you, in the end, it's worth it. Using a Thunderstone will evolve Eevee into the Electric-type Jolteon. Jolteon is also pretty great. It specializes in speed and special stats, basically your special sweeper. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that good of a natural learn set, so you're going to have to be dependent on TMs. Thirdly is, if you use the Fire Stone, Eevee will evolve into the fire type, Flareon. Flareon is absolutely terrible. It specializes in physical attack, but also has kind of decent special attack. Just that I wish that the physical attack was so much better. Flareon is so much better, a little bit better in this generation than in previous generations, because in previous generations, every fire type move was special. In this generation, you have some physical fire type moves, but unfortunately, there aren't a whole lot of physical moves that Flareon can learn. So you're gonna have to be rely on the quick attack and bite that Eevee learns, but go ahead and teach a Fire Blast if you manage to get it up to level 71. Gen 2, starting in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, if you evolve Eevee, well, if Eevee has high friendship and you level it up during the day, Eevee will evolve into the psychic type Espeon. Espeon, well, not as good as the counterparts in the previous generations, is still pretty decent. It specializes in special stats and speed. It's essentially a slower Vaporeon. Keep the Quick, keep Quick Attack, Bite, and Baton Pass, and then later teach it Psychic once it gets up to level 64. If you use the same method to evolve Eevee into Espeon, but do it at nighttime instead, you'll en end up with the Dark-type Umbreon. Umbreon is actually really great. It specializes in special defense and defense. However, if you're planning to evolve it into Umbreon, definitely hold out until Eevee learns Bite at level 29, and I also highly recommend that you teach it Baton Pass at level 36, so that when Umbreon evolves, it can really take advantage of Mean Look at level 57, which locks the opponent from running away, and then you can just simply use a Baton Pass to switch to another Pokemon while carrying over the effects of Mean Look. Umbreon is really good that way, and obviously why it was my favorite Evolution, well, until they introduced Sylveon in Gen 6. Now, in Gen 4, starting in Diamond, Pearl, and, of course, Platinum, you got two new Evolutions. However, one of them is not available until very late in the game. The Pokemon that you can obtain now, however, is Leveon, a grass type, which you can obtain by simply leveling up Eevee near that moss rock found in Eternal Forest. Leafeon is... Uh, decent, I guess? Specializes in physical defense and attack. Which is weird because Leafeon is... Very much weak to uh, fire type moves, which 
effectively means that a lot of the opponents are gonna use special type moves anyways. So, it's not really that good of a stat. And on top of that, its learn set is awful. It learns Synthesis at level 29, and then you're just stuck without any offense, good offensive stab moves until it learns Leaf Raid at da -da -da -da, level 71. Oh, but it gets better. It learns Sword Stance at level 78. Kudos to you if you managed to if you manage to raise a Leafeon all the way up there because Leafeon, it could have learned Razor Leaf at an earlier level. Unfortunately, you obtain Eevee at level 20. So, um, yeah. Leafeon sucks. Well, I'll give it credit. It is better than Flareon. It took about 30 minutes, but I finally did it. I obtained an Eevee. And I did a little bit of experimenting on on the side. What I found, just to find out where the RNG was. Incidentally, three times in a row after when I... Because I used the save state method. When I save state inside of Bebe's house, Three times in a row, I ended up with a male Eevee with a lonely nature. Then I decided to step outside, save state, and then go back inside, and then got a completely different Eevee, and this is actually the third Eevee I obtained after that. So it made me wonder if the RNG is not determined by talking to, um, the RNG that determines Eevee's gender is not from talking to Bebe, but actually loading the map of her house, which is interesting. Now, what's also interesting is that originally I was going to name Eevee Eve, but in between cuts I started to wonder, you know what? I was going to name a male Eevee Charles after Charles Darwin, but then I decided, you know what? Let me look into his family, see if anything um, interesting, and sure enough, his oldest daughter, who lived into adulthood, her name was Eddie. E-T-T-I. Yeah, not Y, but I. So, my Evie's name is gonna be Eddie. And Bebe isn't going to say anything else, unless I talk to her again. My buddy Bill developed the Pokemon, basic Pokemon box and some storage, and tinkered with it here or there to make it easier to use. But anyways, with that out of the way... Um... Let's go ahead and do a bit of more exploring, and... Finally time to talk to that fisherman over there because he can probably describe the town better than I can I'm visiting here all the way from the Hoenn region I had been hoping to find the contest hall, but being new I lost my way Fortunately the local people very kindly helped led me to my destination I was impressed by their kindness and generously said to a complete stranger now may I offer you the courtesy of showing you to the contest hall? Yes, follow me Are you going to give me a tour, or am I going to forget that you just take me? Yeah, he's not giving me a tour. This is a waste of time, because I know where the contest hall is. It's right directly north of the town. This is a contest hall. Please do go inside. Yeah, uh, never mind. We'll go into the contest hall, but first I want to explore the city a little bit. Um, right here... Poffin House, we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, right here, the fan club. Want to go inside and talk to the chairman here. Hello, hello, how I say, do you do? I am the founder, I am the Pokemon fan club found chairman. Indeed, yes I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say, do you do? 
If I might say so, I will. I f and I will. I feed puffins to my Pokemon. I also can't read my own text. Why? I say. Would I do that? Because giving puffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet puffin, the Pokemon eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy puffin will add to the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I say that puffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this puffin case to be a gift from me to you. And there is a puffin house right next door, but we'll get into more about the cuteness and the coolness, except in this video, if an NPC is going to explain to me anyways, or when it becomes more relevant, which it will in this video. I urge you to fill it with puffins and be generous in dispensing them to your Pokemon. Some Pokemon actually like prefer different flavors than others, and hello. Can I hit you up? Sure. Your Monferno is quite appealing, isn't it? May I have your comment on your Monferno? Sure. Um. Uh, status. Adaptability. ability. Uh, it's blazing. But I'm not looking for... Hmm. No, it does not have dry skin. Actually, I wouldn't know because we don't have Pokemon in me, which means that I can't pet it. But they have heat proof, honey gather, huge power, also eyes. You know what? Huge power because it is my toughest Pokemon. Or I could just be blunt and just say Monferno. Thank you for sparing yourself. We'll be featuring this. Please do tune in to see how you look on TV. Thank you. But you still won't get out of the way in the south. Uh, I believe this is the... I'm looking for the hotel now. Is this the hotel? You. Follow Pokemon. What should I do? Should I keep it in the whole world? Okay, not you. Heh, <laughs> shroomish. Automatically go to the fifth floor, okay. Uh, you? I have something for your Pokemon to hold. Take this shell bell. Regains a little HP each time it inflicts damage. I was given one, one to me when I was on vacation, but I already had one. Let me guess the Hoenn region where the Shell Bell originally came from. Yeah, you had to go ahead and collect um, items that were only available at two separate times of the day. But here, they just send it to you. Now, let's go to the... Well, the gym is here. Tell me you're going to challenge Jim later. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's impossible. You're questioning why, and the answer is she's not here. Don't worry, though. We know that she's at the contest. I'll come back another time, okay? We'll be waiting right here. Fantina, the alluring, soulful dancer. Well, in the meantime, I guess we'll just go ahead into the contest hell and thank that girl for... Well, have that girl thank us for... Catching your Baneri. Kira. Oh, my hero. Oh, hi, Lucas. Mom? What's she doing all the way out here? Wait, no, really? Joanna is your mom? So you might be a contest star? Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Lucas about contests. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory. And we get glitter powder. Put that accessory on your Pokemon before a contest. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge. Come join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, well, we will all... F <laughs> we will all for practice sessions. I'll see you. Were you surprised to see me, Lucas? 
I got bored, so I came out of Heart Home for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But you are curious about entering contests? Not dressed that way. When your Pokemon is all dressed up, you can't be dressed your usual way. Put on... Put this on for a little gamer. A tuxedo. If you're playing as Don, you'll get a dress. I'm sure it will look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the contest, honey. Contest will offer you a different look as the many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. You seem to catch my eye. Going to enter contest and yep, you have a poffin case? Let me give you with this fabulously wonderful poffin. A mild poffin. Feed that Pokemon to a Pokemon you're going to enter in contest. Oh, and a word of advice. Go take a run at contest. The best way to get ready is for practice first. You can partake in sessions at the counter on the right. And you. Yes, I beg your pardon. Ah, oh, we oui. Contests you are here for? I hope very much you enjoy them. Incidentally, Fantina, the gym leader of our poem, is also a contestant. She is, how do you say, tres fantastic. Fantina, be myself, of course. Oh, well, there's a bias. Hmm, let me see. You also seem to be tres strong. And Finn, it so it shall be. I wait for you at the gym. She will actually not be available in Diamond and Pearl. You would actually have to wait until you obtain four gym badges before you fight Fantina. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out that Poffin that they gave us located in the Poffin case. A mild Poffin. It seems to be, well, affecting just about all level 40. Basically, as... Basically, if you go to the Poffin House, you can play a little mini game where you, um, well, bake berries into Poffins. Depending on how you do, will affect the quality and Pokemon have, and what berry, ugh, what berry you use will affect the taste of the Poffin, and its quality depends on how well you follow the instructions, whether it be, um, primarily stirring in order to make sure that it doesn't burn. My old Poffin, this one affects all five flavors, but like I said, the berry, they can have different flavors depending on what berries you use. For example, I think the cherry berry is, well, no, the, let's use the butter example, something that I'm more familiar with. The tomato berry is spicy, the chesto berry will be dry, etc., etc. Some Pokemon have different preferences, but basically, the be the more you use them, the more um, the better they look during contests. Unfortunately, there is something called Sheen, where if you max out your Sheen, you will not be able to feed Poffins to your Pokemon anymore. So there is one Pokemon called Feebas, which actually evolves if you increase its beauty, which is by feeding it um, dry food. So make sure you have something, a Feebas with a modesty nature if you want to evolve it. And yeah, we caught a Feebas back in Gen 3. I remember Mimi. He, well, no, it was not Mimi. It was Utsusuki. Duh, Utsusuki. That was actually a really interesting. Um, it was felt very interesting to use a Feebas on my team in Pokemon Emerald. But yeah, you can find Feebas in the wild tier as well, but not yet. It'll be a while. But anyways, I believe this is where you can, yeah, practice sessions. Practice uh, categories of visual, dance, and acting. Would you like to practice in the session? Sure. Um, visual practice. And let's enter cool. Which Pokemon? Yeah, let's choose a Pokemon. Uh, let's use Kong. Entry number four. I believe it's always four anyway, so... Right this way, please. Good luck. Fill your back and lose the touching to dress up with your Pokemon with it. So basically, just dress it up. The, the theme is natural, and we're allowed 50 seconds and 5 accessories. 
So let's try um, something that feels natural. Um, put it in your ear, why not? Letter. Uh, tree, why not? Orange chest hair. Yellow. I can't remember if. Tense. And you know what? Jim Turbo mask. Why not? Certain says that's where he matches up with um certain themes. That that one was natural, and unfortunately I can't remember the exact scenes. But anyways. Start doing the research and entry number one is Gage. This Choo Choo, so it's probably gonna be a Pikachu. So he on four hearts. Punchy. So much up. Also earned four hearts. Celeste. Also earned four. Wow, only three. Did not do so well, probably because of the mass, but that's basically the idea behind it. But yeah, using Poffins can um, increase your chances of getting through the appearance performance. Yeah, and, it prob and that Chimchar mass probably ruined it. No, 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 no. I did, when I said practice, I wanted to do like something else. Oh, fine, fine. Let's just get through this. No, don't put yes in there. Would you like them? Yeah. Sure. Let's do the dance. Let's do Hans. Basically, just tap on the buttons in order to do the dance. It's basically. It's pretty much a game of Simon Says. And I missed. Front, front. Yellow, yellow. Blue, blue, right. Probably we'll look at that. So the Pikachu won. But you got the idea. I would probably be faster with the... Uh, if I wasn't using a mouse. No. And the last one... I'm not gonna show off because it's kind of long. 
but it's basically acting. Basically, you use Pokemon moves, and depending on certain conditions, you might get um, different hearts. Basically, different moves will have um, different effects, and you'll basically have take each turn doing moves. You can actually check its effects by... Well, there you can see um, the sheen and how cool and tough it is, depending on the poppins, but... As well as the ribbons that you can earn, earn by um, competing in contests. But right here, there's gaining the flame wheel for the beauty contest. I guess it would actually do good and um, cool because of the moveset, but... Enables the user to perform first in the next turn. Okay, so that might be good. Um, prevents the voltage from going down in the same turn. Yeah, so... And also, if you... It's also better to um, match the category at, like, if you enter a cool contest, you wouldn't want to use um, beauty moves and vice versa. That's basically a, um, the best summary I can really give, just a really quick summary. And they do um, put up your picture if you um, get first place in the contest, but hey. Um... There's only one last area to explore, and it's not the gym, amazingly. But, um... If you go over... Here, if I follow the fence... Okay, I could have sworn that... There's a way that you can go behind that fence, but maybe not? There should be an item around here, isn't there? No? Oh, wait, hold on. I think it might actually be on the other side of the town. Uh, let me go check. No? Northwest. Oh, hold on. Is it here? Yes, it is. Big mushroom. You can sell it at stores at a very high price. Now, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Anyways. I want you to show off Amity Square. This is an interesting area. Basically an area where you can walk around with your Pokemon. Just like in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Pokemon Yellow. I mean, it goes somewhere always is keeping me. I could go with Kong? Well, okay. Basically what it is is that if the Pokemon has an overworld sprite... Then you can walk with it. So, like, you can't walk with something like a Snorlax or anything like that. I mean, if it's small and can and has an overworld sprite, it can work. I didn't think that. I didn't think that um, Kong can do that. And really, I can't switch Pokemon. I have to. I want to go for a walk with. Eevee. Eddie, rather. I was thinking of doing it with Hans, but let's do it with Eddie. Or keep on insisting on going with fine. I'll go with Kong. Let's go for a stroll in the park. There's plenty of items that you can obtain here, such as... TM43? Secret Power. I believe it's a move that um, changes type, and I can't check it because I... <laughs> How come you can't check your items? Then M&T part of... Fine, whatever. And also, you notice that this island is in the shape of the Shino region. I think that's pretty cool. I believe. Now, if I believe if we go um, up here... 
guy who was a drift loon. This should be another TM, shouldn't it? Yes, it is. A track makes the opponent infatuated if it's of the opposite gender. I don't know, maybe they're homophobic. Or rather, not homophobic, but you know, every Pokemon heterosexual or something like that. Let's see. Just looking at my notes, and I'm looking at the wrong place. I'm so used to looking at it at the bottom of the list, but I need to look at it from the top. Okay, I know where else I need to go. But I can't reach it from uh, this side. Well, I can, but it would be easier to um, just go outside and go to the opposite end. Still can't do it. Fine. Now check that out. Secret power. Okay, depends on the environment. Okay, so like, I don't know, if you were in a grassy field, you can... There was an interview person there. Sure, go ahead. How I'm feeling right now... Well, let's go to feelings. I'm feeling alright. I'll be sure to check myself on television. Now, if we go back to Amity Square through the East Gate... Yes, go ahead. Take a stroll with Kong. I'm surprised that I can't do it with um, Tokapi or Eevee, but oh well. But yeah, it's just like Pokemon Yell. You can go ahead and talk to you, sniffing at the grass. It's pretty much just like Pokemon Yellow. Well, let's see. If we go into this hut... And go east three times... Two, three, you'll get a spooky plate. In three beings were born to bind time and space. You're not with anybody, man. How do you do? I love this park. Oh, okay, you're the, like, the custodian. You know all the item pending? I found some, would you like? Sure! Five pantry berries. Oh, okay, I guess you're like another berry person. Right here. And to the northeast? Guys. I've been waiting to obtain this item for such a long time. Amulet coin. If a if the Pokemon holding on to this item participates in battle, it will gain participates in battle. You will get double the amount of money you would obtain otherwise. So with Combining that with the Versus Seeker, you don't have to worry about money ever again. But, anyways, I think we're done exploring Hearthold City. So I think, next time, we'll tackle our third gym. If you like this part, hit that like button. Feel free to leave behind a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.